Tonight, the mystery behind the Oscar statuette, was it actually modeled after a real person? Yeah, a Mexican actor and filmmaker had reportedly claimed he was asked to be the model for the design of the most recognized trophy in the world. So could it be that the Oscar is actually El Oscar? Well, here's ABC 15's Liliana Soto, all new tonight. The official name is the Academy Award of Merit. Then in 1939, the Academy adopted the nickname Oscar. But Emilio El Indio Fernandez, a very well-known Mexican actor and filmmaker who used the nickname The Indian as a way to embrace his Kickapoo roots, claimed to be the model for the trophy during his stay in Hollywood in the 1920s. What we know is that the Academy hasn't ever acknowledged uh, Emilio's contribution, but Emilio was very adamant. Guillermo Reyes is an ASU professor. One of his classes is about the Oscars. He was best friends with Dolores del Rio, who was married to the designer uh, Cedric Gibbons. So Emilio claims that uh, Cedric uh, made him pose, and then that's how Cedric uh, came up with a design that he'll later hand over to uh, the sculptor, George uh, Stanley. The story has never been confirmed by the Academy, but physically, they're pretty similar. He had also been um, a soldier. He came during the Mexican Revolution. Yeah, he was fit. Whether true or not, the whole idea of having a Latino representing such important awards makes some people excited. That is fascinating. I think that there would be, you know, just a number of people who would love that story. You know, people of, of you know, all Latinx cultures will just will, and especially Mexicanos, y Chicanos. Angela Giron is an assistant professor at ASU and an actress, but also an Oscar aficionado. I always get dressed for the Oscars, you know, I was like, I just like it, you know. And this year, will be special. I have worked with an Oscar winner who's nominated again this year for uh, Best Actor, and that would be Gary Oldman. And I uh, played his paralegal secretary in Criminal Law, which also starred Kevin Bacon. So anybody who talks to me is six degrees of separation. <laughs> Talking about six degrees of separation, we found out during this interview that Guillermo and Angela actually know each other and that it's a tradition for them to watch the Oscars together. I don't care if, if I'm even by myself watching it on television, I just gotta get dressed, always have some Prosecco chilled. I don't have a tux, so uh, I can put on a nice shirt, <laughs> maybe a tie, we'll see. Uh, as long as the champagne is good, I think I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> Both of them hope to see more diversity this year. The film industry uh, is allowing, uh, ever so slowly, but it is uh, allowing for the face of America to come through. And, uh, and that's why I think I'm hopeful for the future. Liliana Soto, ABC 15, Arizona. It's impressive getting dressed up to watch the Oscars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly.